In 2015, University College of London psychologist Alan Johnson explored eye contact and how much was too much. He found that most people like, on average, about 3.2 seconds of eye contact. They only like more if they felt like the speaker was trustworthy and sincere. Staring at one member of the audience for your entire speech is going to be weird. You might creep out the one stranger you choose to stare at, or if they're your friend planted in the audience, everyone else is going to begin to wonder why you aren't looking at them. Good eye contact is at the heart of speaker credibility. If you want the audience to trust you, you're going to have to look at them. Eye contact is different in real life and online in our class and video speeches. In real life, the best technique is to do the sweep. What's the sweep? Let me explain it to you. Begin your speech looking at someone in the middle of the audience. After a few seconds, or when you come to the end of a sentence or a point, look at someone in the left of the audience. And at the end of your next point, sweep to the right and look at someone on that side of the room. You can keep repeating the sweep until you've made meaningful eye contact with almost everyone in the room, depending on the length of your speech. Remember, you can and should hold your gaze longer with an individual audience member when you feel you're having a sincere connection with them. In virtual speeches, the trick is almost the opposite and the unnaturalness of needing to stare continuously at the camera lens and maintaining a constant gaze with the audience can be unnerving for even the most experienced speakers. Although you might feel threatened maintaining the prolonged gaze, it'll make sense to your audience. When you're looking everywhere else during a speech except at the camera lens, your audience is gonna to start to wonder what's going on and what's so important the viewer will start to feel like you're talking at them and not to them.